Welcome back to this week's episode of Nil the Zone. We got pears, grapes, oranges, game number nine at the beautiful square line field. Top of the first, pears, bases loaded, premier slugger, Barney Buck Apples going the other way, and a huntsman's throw, not in time. One nothing pears. Now two nothing pears. Barney Buck Apples over the head of the Cephas windshield. Going for two. A couple runs gonna come in to score, and then windshield falls asleep in the field. Barney Buckapples goes to third as a stand-up triple. It makes it 5-0-0. The Cephas windshield pulling a little league move, not throwing the ball in right away. And it allows three runs to score. 5 nothing, nothing. mid-1. Grapes are cooking a little bit. It's Paul Emerson Davis who hits it back to Christopher Joywalk. And Joywalk makes the play in his second career start. A full-on extension like the legs of a gazelle. Now we go all the way to the middle of the fourth. The Grapes have Joy Walk and a great jam. Bases are loaded. Paul Emerson Davis got him looking. It's Joy Walk with the strikeout of PEDs. And that gets them out of the jam. Bottom four. Joy Walk now at the plate. Hits one off of Barney Buckapples in the center field. It's Emerson Davis. Throw is going to be in time. But he got under the tag. Christopher Joywalk is ruled under the tag. We go to New York and Rodrigo for review. And he's in there safely. This play is confirmed by the command center. Joywalk gets under Barney Buckapple's tag. The Orange City Orange Oranges have never been thrown out on the bases this season. And I guess in franchise history, he's in there safely at second. Now it's the Cephas windshield with a knock in this game already. Hits the drop ball. Puts it up the middle. And plays a little bit of a couple of mind games, but it's first and third. The Oranges are cooking. Great for them. Now it's Joywalk back at the dish and doing what he can do best. The league's offensive player of the year candidate comes in clutch with a double. It's second and third. The Orange elevate themselves over the grapes and take command of that game. And now looking to get back at the pairs. Joy walk at the plate again with the bases loaded. Draws a walk. It's 5-0-2. Now, Windshield puts the ball in play, and he beats it out when it's 5-0-3. The Orange City Orange Oranges knocking on the door. Barney Buckapple says, sit down, boy. That's my ninth strikeout of the year. I lead the league. Top five. Hairs back up. Rookie Duke Bronze rips it. Back up the middle. Windshield can't make the play. Runner on first. Barney Buckapple says, I'll take a BB because my initials are BB. It's going to be bronze. Back up the plate. Play for windshield. And it's not in time. The speed from Duke Bronze beats the throw out. A similar one like this earlier in the game where the Oranges did make the play. This time, the pairs beat it out. Bases loaded. Barney Buck Apples. Flip McFlounder's been pitching, by the way, in this fifth inning instead of a Huntsman. And the ball is caught. The Cephas windshield makes the catch of his life. He made one of these last week and then does it again. Lit reaction over the shoulder. One-handed snag. Top 10 play of the year. What a sensational grab by the Cephas windshield. Saving a couple runs and keeping his team in the ball game. And there's the windmill from windshield. Mid-5 now. The grapes are not going away. It's going to be Flint McFlounder at the dish. And Duke Braun's throw is not in time. The no-hitter from Christopher Drawwalk is broken up. Grapes are thinking about adding some more. Ball hit back to Christopher Joywalk. And the play is made. Oopsie Williams grounds out to Christopher Drawwalk. It's a one-hit shutout for him. And the pears and oranges both take victories over the grapes. Now things get really interesting. Bottom five. It's Phil Nerf tied for the all-time league lead in saves coming in to try to close this one out. It's going to be a single back up the middle for the Oranges from Deceiver's windshield. Some art being made. Then ball in play from Christopher Droywalk. No throw. First and second. The Oranges. They are thinking of a comeback. Two-time All-Star Benny Raps Jr. into the game, and he is walked. Bases loaded for Christopher Joy Walk the fourth, who puts a little tapper in play. There's a play at the plate, and Nerf cannot field it. A run scores, and it's our bases are loaded for Jake Splinter the third, who comes in. The Orange is emptying out their entire bench. 
and Splinter in the center field. It's Oopsie Williams with the grab and the pairs beat the Oranges 5-4 in the game of the year. They win two. The Oranges go 1-1 one and, one and the Grapes go 0-2. Oh A sensational grab from Oopsie Williams. Phil Nerf gets the job done. It's his fourth career save jumping Jake Splinter, the person who hit that in all-time saves. What a game.